This is always a little bit tense. Okay, cool. Phew. Do 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 missiles. This missile and this energy tank are particularly cruel. I actually missed them completely when I was trying to map this game out myself. Like, I just have no idea how you're supposed to know these are here, particularly without some kind of in-game map. Then again, every Super- every Metroid game has, like, that really cruel final, like, 5 to 10 percent. That's just, like, unless you know it's there, you're never gonna find it. That's another gamma that we don't really have good strats for, at least I don't. Maybe someone else does. Oh, that's way too high. What am I doing? Luckily, I recovered well enough. Alright, is that a zag? Go! Shout out to Chronic Sauce for uh, helping me come up with this strategy, by the way. Or more accurately, I guess, for giving me the confidence I could actually get this, I could actually fight the Zeta this way. Like, I could actually avoid him to get up here. The secret there is to actually wait until the Zeta swoops at you again before you make the break for it. Before you make the break for the tunnel. Shoo. Alright, I should have 240 missiles if I did everything right. fights I've had there, but that's alright. Okay, sure. Whatever you say, game. I... okay. <sighs> Alright, cool. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Oops. 
quicker to just hit that enemy than to try to dodge it. Especially since you don't want to necessarily be rolling here. I'm gonna go down this way to avoid the enemy. Freeze that guy. Come back. Don't necessarily want to bounce all the way up. The, hitting the ceiling and sticking to it is actually a very real possibility in this section, so you gotta kinda watch that. Okay, cool. Just don't, you know, it's cool. That's fine, so nice. Don't care. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, as the final split likes to say, the run is never over until you hit the final split, so... I'm probably gonna lose time on this split, although I'll probably gain some time on the queen split. I'm not sure firing that first missile is actually a good idea. It should hit, but... So, again, we're down to five Metroids. This is the one time where the acid actually rises, as I mentioned earlier. Okay, cool. That's, that's fine, Sam. So just don't. I don't care. So, if you're wondering why I don't just pump missiles into that Omega Metroid as fast as I can, it's because uh, when they're kicking their little Omega legs, uh, their little Omega feetsies, uh, they are actually invulnerable. So if I try and shoot them, then they're, my missile is just going to go right through them, and that's not good. At least not for me. It's good for the Metroid, I suppose, but not for me. That would actually be another good place to uh, do a spider throw, I think. Whoops, I did not want to get hit by that guy. Kind of I did, but I didn't want to. That was actually a really good exit, wow. Going up this path, it's the hardest path in the game. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you for uh, checking me out. I do appreciate it. I'm, uh, you know, sorry. I have, oh, God, why? Uh, that wasn't good. <laughs> Supposed to shoot that guy, obviously. Yes. I, uh, yeah, I very much enjoy the... I, I like this game a lot. Granting it has some of the same problems as the first Metroid. Like, certain areas all look the same. Uh, it's a little bit more linear than a lot of the Metroid games, at least on a macro level. On a micro level, you have a surprising amount of freedom. Like, if there's ten Metroids in an area, you have to kill all ten, but the game doesn't really care what order you do them in. And indeed, you can actually use this to do some pretty major sequence breaking. You know, if you're into that kind of thing. Of course I am, so. They're Chun-Li kicks. They don't really have the thighs to do Chun-Li kicks, though. Oh, really? I mean, you're a jerk, huh? All right, fine. Lost a second or two there, through no fault of my own. Uh, which is fine. Uh, I try to not get too mad at RNG in games, because it's RNG. I can't control it. It's, you know, it is what it is. But that is a little bit disappointing. Basically, that Metroid can do one of two things. It can either swoop to the right or do kind of what it did there, which is to kind of fake going right and end up facing the opposite direction of where I need to be. In a 100% run, not a big deal. I just throw a screw attack at it, and it goes in the direction I want it to. In an any percent run, it's a little bit bigger of a deal, because, uh... You don't have the screw attack in a high level 20% run. So. 
Whoops, I am not where I think I am. That's cool. That's where I thought I was. Also, that energy is actually going to be kind of helpful. I'm glad I got that. Let's see if this guy wants to behave. This is the one that's usually more temperamental, so... Okay, let's be here. Let's go. Alright, nice. That was strong. Oh, new follower! Thank you, Rams112002. Greatly appreciate the follow. This is kind of my main speed game. I'll be playing this for Sea Emergency, which is a uh, marathon August 8th through the 10th. Helping out the Shark Savers charity, which I believe has recently merged with another charity. I still call it Shark Savers. Basically dedicated to the preservation of sea life, mostly sharks. Um, sharks have kind of an undeserved reputation as like these, you know, man-killing predators. When in reality, most of the time, they're as afraid of humans as humans are of them. Probably gonna lose some time here, because I think I had a pretty good split here before, so. What? Okay. How? Okay, now I'm starting to get a little nervous, I won't lie. So yeah, if uh, if you're like a newbie speedrunner, and you know you ever wonder like you're on your way to a PB and you're really nervous, and if you wonder if that feeling ever really goes away, uh, honestly, no, it really doesn't. <laughs> so luckily, this is just kind of a long, creepy walk to the end game. There's right there. There's not too much I can mess up. Famous last words. Let's see how I botch this. Boop. Oh, that's how I can botch it. That's pretty cool. Alright. Covered well enough. Alright. Definitely don't want to fall into those pits, though. Don't do it. In the center, there are, uh, like, hidden pits that will drag you down a level, as I mentioned earlier. There's still plenty of stuff that can go wrong here. The queen control me, I can get nom by a Metroid. Um, the game can drop a space jump input. I am, uh, I am not resting on this yet. If you go to the right, there's actually an energy and missile refill. The middle path is an ice beam, and this is the end. And of course, Metroid at the last second learns how Babby is formed. No word yet on how if Metroid learns how to crawl. 